All right. Do I hear a motion that the board temporarily modify the enforcement section of policy JICG, tobacco and nicotine use by students due to safety concerns? Madam Chair, under the guidance of policy BDH, which gives the board the ability to temporarily suspend board policies due to the extreme emergencies, I move that the board approve the administration's request to temporarily modify the enforcement section of policy JICG, tobacco and nicotine use by students due to safety concerns. The second offense consequence, which requires a student to complete six hours of school-based community service, will be temporarily suspended due to safety concerns. This modification will be in effect until the end of the 2021-2022 first semester. Thank you, Mr. Oswald. Do I have a second? Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, back to you, Mr. Caldwell, to explain this recommendation. Thank you, and, and this one has a bit of a twist because we're actually asking to add something back that we suspended last school year, and that is the, uh, the first offense uh, results in a, a day of in-school suspension and the students have to complete a vaping and tobacco education course. And what we asked for last year was that they not stay in in-school suspension the entire day because if you'll recall, students were only in school two days a week, I mean, face-to-face -face instruction two days a week. And seat time was critically important. It's important all the time, but, but certainly last year. And so we asked and was, were granted the permission to allow them to stay in in-school suspension just for the duration of that course. We're asking to rescind that, I guess, and go back to the, the one-day in-school suspension for the first offense. Uh, but we're again asking that the community, uh, the school-based community service be postponed um, uh, temporarily uh, just until we can, we really want to get into the semester, see what the semester looks like and what uh, what our numbers look like, what what our, uh, uh, you know, uh, case loads are like and, and that sort of thing. So that's, that's what we're asking for. Thank you, Mr. Caldwell. Does anyone have any questions? Well, I just have some discussion. Um, this motion is just for the second offense consequence, which requires a student to complete six hours of community service. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with the first offense, although I agree with. Well, your, your to, to that point, I'm not actually asking for that again. So I guess by, by virtue of not asking to do that, it automatically goes back to the way it was. So it's okay. Good point, yeah. But so we want to, um, I guess, mod suspend this section of the policy that says students will be required to complete community service at their school. But these are the same students that are attending that school every day. And if they've decided that they want to use tobacco and nicotine, um, I don't think that we should give them an excuse such as COVID to say that it's okay. That's, I mean, that's just my opinion. The board may have another opinion. Um, I mean, you break the rules, you suffer the consequences. And I don't think six hours community service is a big deal. What sort, I mean, what, give us an example of a school-based community service. Well, we didn't really have it last year. And I think that policy, if you remember the previous year, we, we had much conversation about this, that we revised it and then revised it again. Uh, I don't want to put Mr. Cooper on the spot, but I just did, uh, as far as the, the, the community-based, uh, uh, school-based community service. Um, do, do you have any examples that we could? A district assigns uh, board of housekeeping, um, you know, outside of, of school hours, we send them, send them, that, send them that notice um, to work in the school staff there around the school. So that's even better. It's outside of school hours. So I see no reason why this should be suspended. Like I said, you break the rules, you suffer the consequences. That's just my opinion. Is there um, an alternative second offense um, penalty? Or is there just... Are we not doing anything for second offense? If what? I whether or not they did decide to uh, pursue the charges ag against the student. Um, the student would um, also have to complete the Laredac uh, tobacco cessation course. They do the in-house school-based course on the first offense. They would do the course through Laredac on the second offense. And um, 
and though it um, might not have an, an, a, another overt consequence other than that administrator-parent conversation, um, that conversation also is a reminder to the student and the parent, should this happen a third time, uh, that offense includes a um, recommendation for expulsion. Um, and so, um, you know, that's a pretty good attention grabber uh, as well for the, for the, the student um, and, and the parent as well. Also, I know in that policy, it includes, um, as a second offense, referral to law enforcement and suspension from extracurricular activities, which is great. I think all of these are great, but I just don't see the reason why we need to suspend community service. How many second offenders do we have in a year, would you say, ballpark, per school? I guess the high schools are the predominant players. Middle and high. Um, second offense, I'm, I'm given a very broad range, but yeah. I would say as, as a district, I mean, probably be around 100 or so. For um, all five high schools? With, for so all five high schools and all eight. Uh, and all eight middle. So, I mean, you're talking, you know, one to five to school. 15 maybe yeah. per site students gotcha. so not not a, a large number per school is our safety concern related to COVID-19 is that is that what we're driving at okay I understand that and that's a, I, I'm sorry I've that's that concern it's I'm not sure how that concern is of larger significance than just the general concern during the school day. Um, um, I understand, <laughs> and, and that's, that, that's a valid point. We've just, um, you know, we've been very deliberate with our, um, as, we've, as we've gone back to some sense of normalcy, and we just, um, you know, maybe being too cautious, uh, just opted to recommend that we, that we slow this uh, return uh, by a semester, but certainly it's uh, it's at the pleasure of the board. So, board, you want to have any other questions or discussion on this? But Mr. Caldwell, you're recommending this. You and the the district leadership are recommending this. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. All in favor of the motion uh, to temporarily modify the enforcement section of policy GICG, um, the tobacco and nicotine used by students due to safety concerns. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. And opposed? Jane is opposed. And the motion carries.